Let's just be honest for a second. How cool would it be to be admired for the work we make, have people drool over our work and sell our art pieces for millions? Well, just like babies need to be touched to stay alive, we need to feel that we are valued. It's a basic human need. So how do we make art that impresses people and make them go, wow? Oh man, I feel like, wow, it's like I come over a Welcome to the channel of Dr. Draw. My name is Alexander and today I'm gonna to show you four steps that you can do today to impress people with your art. And stay tuned for the last step, which is gonna blow your mind. <gasps> the first step is to make something you want to make. This could be anything, in any style, with any tool you want. Most people struggle with this step, but this is actually the easiest one. If you want to draw a butterfly, draw a butterfly. If you want to draw a turd, draw a turd. It doesn't matter. And if you really can't think of anything, then just jump on Pinterest. Pinterest is perfect for finding some cool reference. But there's one thing to be mindful of when looking for reference, and that's focusing on what you want. In this phase, it's not about the audience, it's about you. When making art, there are three elements to consider. You, the art piece, and the audience. And it's easy to get distracted about what the audience wants when you're starting out. But in this phase, we're not concerned about the audience. We're focusing on you. Step number two, frame it and put it on your wall. You don't have to be good to put something on your wall. Remember as kids that our parents would always hang our pictures on the wall? Well, that's the great thing about your walls. You can put anything you want on your walls. Step number three, wait three days. Step number four, look at your work and realize you've put time and effort in making something. And yes, you can be proud. And you're done. Making art is not about impressing people. It's not about making your next masterpiece. It's about doing something you want to do, putting time and effort in something you want to make. Fuck impressing other people than yourself. Making art is very similar to problem solving. Whether that's for a painting, a photo, a play, a piece of music or a drawing doesn't really matter. And when you're doing this for something that is in line with your purpose, then this has an effect on your feelings. In this case, self-esteem. But when you're too long in this problem-solving mindset, your problem-solving mindset turns into a problem-focused mindset. And your self-esteem feelings turn into stress. That's why you need to wait a couple of days to let that problem-focused mindset reside and look at your work with an open perspective. You don't need to be a technical genius to make art. You just need to start and have the courage to share it with the world. In other words, when you're starting with a new art piece, forget these guys and focus on this guy. Do you recognize yourself in this video? Then please share your experiences in the comments. Apart from developing ourselves on a technical level to become an artist, we also have to focus on self-development. And that's exactly what the focus is of this channel. Because as artists, we all experience feelings of insecurities and doubt. And because we all experience them, we can learn from each other. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and share it with someone who might benefit from it. But also check out this video, which might be even better. And for now, thanks for watching and have an awesome day. Bye bye. Do you recognize yourself in this video? Then please. <coughs> 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 Jesus, Minas, eh?